Capture of Fort Ticonderoga by Jacob Reichow and Grace Whitty. Um, so who was involved was the British and the American colonies. The British were led by William and De La Place, and they had 78 men. And the American colonies were led by Benedict Arnold and Ethan Allen, and they had 168 men. Ethan Allen was leading the Green Mountain Boys, a local militia, and they were organized in 1770 to defend the property rights of local landowners. They joined the revolutionary effort without hesitation. What? The Battle of Fort Ticonderoga was a military conflict between the Kingdom of Great Britain and its 13 colonies in North America during the American Revolutionary War. The Battle of Fort Ticonderoga ended in a surprise victory for the American colonists. So where? The battlefield where the British and the American forces fought during the Battle of Fort Ticonderoga was located on the shores of Lake Champlain on the border of New York and the Canadian province of Quebec. When the battle took place on May 10th, 1775, about a month after Lexington and Concord, this was a surprise attack on the British in the middle of the night. Why? The main reason for the Americans to take the fort was to get control of its cannons. The cannons were moved to Boston, where they were used to help the siege of Boston. The events. The Green Mountain Boys began to sneak across the river during the night. However, only around or half the men had crossed the river by the time the sun rose. Rather than wait on the rest of the force to cross, Ethan Allen decided to attack. There was only one guard on duty at the south gate where they first approached. When his musket misfired, the guard ran away and the way was open for the Patriots. They quickly entered the fort and took the 48 British soldiers by surprise. The significance. As the first rebel victory of the Revolutionary War, the battle for Ticonderoga served as a morale booster and provided key artillery for the Continental Army in that first year of war. Cannons captured at Fort Ticonderoga would be used during the successful siege of Boston the following spring. Because of its location, the fort would also serve as a staging ground for Continental troops before their planned invasion of British-held territory in Canada. The connection to the Enlightenment. The capture of Fort Ticonderoga was the first stepping stone on the path to America's freedom from Britain. If not for the Enlightenment, the idea to capture the fort would not have happened, thus not giving us an upper hand with the future battles.